Hey guys, what is going on? Chris here. And today we're going to talk about Tyler Blevins, aka Ninja. I'm first going to say that the ideas in this video are just purely speculation. None of this is based in a 100% fact. But with my background study in psychology and insight on the pharmaceutical industry, I'd say that it is in the realm of possibilities that Ninja is on some sort of amphetamine, more than likely Adderall. Why do I say this, you ask? Then I'll use it! I'll fucking sell my soul! I'll do it! Now, what is Adderall, and why would someone who is a competitive gamer want to take advantage of it? Adderall is a form of amphetamine legally used in a limited number of countries, primarily the United States and Canada. It's commonly used for the treatment of ADHD, narcolepsy, and depression. Adderall works by increasing the availability of certain neurotransmitters like norepinephrine and dopamine in the brain. These brain chemicals are responsible for boosting alertness, attention, and energy levels. Now, as a result of this, the use of this drug can cause feelings of energy and invigoration similar to the high experience by cocaine users something that a competitive gamer who makes a lot of money would want not to mention the extreme level of focus one would have you might be asking yourself Chris this is great but do we have any more evidence you can't just throw around accusations like this and you're right so let's pull some of the potential side effects of Adderall off of some of Ninja's streams some of the negative short-term effects likely seen in those who take Adderall include number one appetite suppression and unhealthy weight loss, something that isn't completely dismissible due to Ninja's incredibly slender appearance. Number two, irritability, as we've already seen. And number three, trouble sleeping or feelings of restlessness. Ninja is an insane workaholic streaming anywhere from 12 to 14 hours daily, and it wouldn't be a surprise if he needed to wake me up in a pill form. Now, I'm not trying to shame or ruin someone's reputation based on prescriptive or not drug use. That is not what we're doing here. I just want people to be aware of the situation regarding one of the best competitive gamers out there. His income, his reputation, and work is on the line, and Adderall use can be a great helping hand in those matters. I'm also not dismissing his gaming ability. He is truly a great gamer, regardless of amphetamine use or not. But just be wary, some things are not always as they seem. Now guys, that is all for today. Thank you so much for watching, and make sure to leave your feedback down below. Let me know what you think regarding Ninja and drug use. Do you think he is trying to keep a competitive edge? As always, I hope you have a wonderful day. Chris signing off. Peace. dude in the middle of that shit look at this shit how the fuck does this happen this game is so fucking bad man it's so broken got too far away from the car because i wasn't fucking controlling my mouse and then i died ah just don't fucking sight you know what dude come here come at me dude i will fucking just shit on you I, this is why i don't do that i fucking hate i hate so many so many things dude Holy shit, babe! I'm sorry. Are you kidding me? I didn't know you were there. You just yell. I cheered.